video I'm going to show you um, how to use um, layers in Photoshop to create a multiple exposure image. It's very simple. So you basically have your image open in Photoshop. I'm just going to use this one here. And um, in your layers panel, you're going to select the background layer and press command or control, depending on if you've got a PC or a Mac. Um, and the letter J, so J for um, Juliet. So you would press Command and J, um, and it duplicates the layer. So before we do anything, we're going to just lower the opacity of this layer so we can see the image below it. So um, here in your Layers panel, it says Opacity. So I'm going to change that opacity to about, I don't know, let's try this, 82%. And then with the Move tool, we're just going to nudge this to the side. And you'll see that it will reveal the image that's underneath. Now, if that's too much and you're like, oh, actually, I want to see more of the image underneath, you can just lower the opacity further down. So you can see that this is the opacity at 61%, at 45%, at 27%. Um, so the, actually, now what's happened is the image on the top is much less visible. The image on the bottom is more visible. Um, so you can play around with this um, as you wish until you reach a point that you're satisfied with. If you want to create more than just one duplication, you can duplicate this as many times as you want. Um, but what my suggestion would be that each time you duplicate, the layer that's on the top is um, the lowest opacity. So um, the, the opacity here is 53%, opacity here is 65%, and obviously on my background layer, the opacity will be at 100%. Um, that will just mean that you can still obviously see um, the changes that you're making below. Um, and now, as you can see, because obviously I've um, duplicated it, it's duplicated the edge as well over here. Um, I don't really like the look of it, like the straight line. So I'm just going to try and get rid of that line um, and only do this stage um, once you're kind of happy with it. Um, so what I'm going to do is press Command, Alt, and shift so um command or control um the alt key or the option key um if you don't if you have a mac and you can't find the alt key it's the option key and then the shift key and then the letter e for echo um you're going to press all three of um so the command option and shift and then the letter e at the same time and it's going to create a new layer here and basically this layer is called a composite layer um, and what it does is it compresses the all the layers below it without actually compressing um, the image. So um, this will work as a standalone image now, as you can see here. Um, so on this composite layer, um, I'm then going to go in with my patch tool. If you can't find where this is in your option menu, you press the letter J, so you can see here, J is the key uh, shortcut to get to this tool. Um, you would long press on this. Um, if you've never used this tool before, it's usually set to the spot healing brush tool. Long press and go to the patch tool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to draw around um, the edges where I don't want that sharp edge to be like that. So the line is in the center. And then as you can see, my patch tool changes when I come into the center of it. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the area where I want it to duplicate from. Sorry, this gray is um, my Photoshop glitching out. Um, so you can see here that that line um, has now gone. So I'm going to do the same here. And I'm going to do the same going down here as well. You can move it anywhere. It doesn't have to just be right next to the area that you are um, um, near to but obviously for experiments such as this um you do want to do it to and, and the area right next to it um but i'm just mentioning just in case you ever choose to use a patch tool for another reason you don't have to um do it from exactly the same area so there you go you can see that those lines are gone and now it's a bit more seamless um the finish so this is why i'm saying that you have to make sure that um you're completely happy with the outcome before you do this last step um, and then that, that's your um, edit ready. Um, the other option that you can also do, um, I'm just going to get rid of this composite layer, is that you can also play around with um, the blending mode. So where it says normal over here, 
you can change the way that the image um, blends with the um, image that's underneath it. Um, and this is all to do with the colors. Um, so depending on if your image is really bright or if it's lighter, if it's colorful, if it's black and white, these um, blending modes will um, all look different every time you go through this. So you can see I'm not actually clicking on anything. I'm just scrolling through it and it gives you a preview of what it will look like. Um, so you can see here that as I'm doing this, all of these, um, some of them are similar, but um, you can see that with the majority of it, the way that the image blends um, with the image underneath it changes. So you can also try doing that as well. Um, so yeah, it's just about playing around with this blending mode and the opacity.